Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about what is WordPress multi-site and when to use it according to the use cases. So let's get started. So what is WordPress multi-site? So first of all, WordPress multi-site is a popular feature of WordPress that allows you to manage multiple websites from a single dashboard, which includes their themes, plugins, and so much more. Secondly, WordPress introduced multi-site in version 3.0, which now offers more than that. And the main feature it offers is to host different sites on a single WordPress installation. So how does multi-site work? So let's say you're a business operating in different locations in the country, then using WordPress multi-site, you can create separate subdomains for each one of them. But to use WordPress multi-site, you need to be a super admin. So what exactly is super admin? Well, WordPress site has the following roles, which are administrator, editor, author, contributor, and subscriber. But in multi-site, you get an additional position called as super admin. This position or the super admin is like the CEO that manages every single website. But now the question is when to use WordPress multi-site. So we have listed some of the scenarios where you should adopt to multi-site installation of WordPress. For example, your business needs multiple websites with similar functionality, server configurations and core themes, or you need complete control over the branding and content of the subnets and so much more as you can see on the screen. After that, let's talk about some of the uses and examples of WordPress multi-site. Number one, we have internal sites. The multi-site feature of WordPress is best to use in an organization where all other subsites use the same theme or plugin and branding. For example, university websites have separate domains for each department or company with internal sites for its departments or employees. At number two, we have the online community or forum. So an online community of group of users can use multi-site to create a forum or niche websites. These websites can share the user experience in a particular niche and many organizations use the multi-site feature for this particular purpose such as Reddit, GitHub, Quora and so much more. Number three, we have the localized user experience. The next possible use case is for organizations that provide services or operate in different parts of the world. Now in this case, the WordPress multi-site installation helps enhance customer service efforts and understand customer needs. Now an example for this can be cheapflights.com. Number four, we have the blog networks. So no matter how you use it, WordPress multi-size primarily focuses on blog networks used by an online publications. An entity creates multiple blogs relating to the same topics or different ones using the multi-site installation. Now an example for this can be the New York Times blog. At number 5, we have sub-sites with different access privileges. Well, in this case, the multi-site is the best option for the differentiation of users. A corporate entity uses WordPress multi-site feature to restrict users' roles and permission from a single place. Now, this authorization method makes the managing process simple and transparent. Number 6 is affiliated to main site. Now, creating multiple small or individual sub-sites as affiliate sites for the parent site is another way of using the multi-site installation of WordPress. Now, it is very similar to blog networks, but there is a slight difference. The sub-sites form a part of parent site in the affiliated method. In the case of a block network, subsites don't act as support and are independent of the content of the main site. Now, an example for this can be EDU blogs and Harvard blogs. I would like to tell you that there is a plugin developed by Cloud Infrastructure Services which is known as the WordPress Cloud Single Sign-On plugin. Now, this plugin provides a lot of different features and benefits such as WordPress single sign-on, security protecting your website with auto redirect to IDP, attribute mapping, auto redirect to SSO, WordPress role mapping and so much more. So make sure to check out the link in the description box for the plugin listing on the official WordPress website. And lastly at number 7, we have personal sites or blogs which are known as niche sites. Though large organizations often use the multi-site features, it is not limited to companies. Do you have a personal blog covering different areas and different micro audiences, then you can adopt the multi-site feature. An example for this can be awaytogarden.com. Now that brings us to the end of this video. Now if you wanted to learn more about the use cases of multi-site of WordPress, then you can simply check out the blog that is linked in the description box. Other than that, if you have learned anything new with this video, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.